Hi, I'm Anders from Sunflare, and today we're going to be doing a shading video comparing one of our Explore Sunflare modules with the competitors. So what we're going to do here is put both of those modules on top of our vehicle, test them through different levels of shade, and see how that affects the power output. So first we're going to get a baseline with 100% sunlight. All right, so for the Explore Sunflare module, we're looking at about 138 watts. Now we're gonna drive into partial shady conditions. All right, so for partially shady conditions, we're gonna go see what the power output is. All right, now we're looking at about 84 watts for the Sunflare module. Time to go in the full shade and see how it does. All right, in fully shaded conditions now, we have about 22 watts for the Sunflare Explore module. So as you see here, you do get a power reduction as you get the more shaded conditions, but thanks to the cell-by-cell -cell bypass diodes, our module will always be producing power for you. Part two of the shading is we're gonna repeat that same process, but using the silicon module. So let's get a baseline for 100% sunlight. All right, in full sunlight, we're at about 136 watts for the silicon module. Now let's go into partial shaded conditions and see how that affects it. All right, we are now in partial shaded conditions for the silicon module. All right, in these conditions, we're looking at about 48 watts currently. Now the last step is full shade. In fully shaded conditions, the competitor module is about 19 or 18 watts. All right, and this is what happens when you cover just one corner of the module. We see the sun flare module is at about 122 watts, where the competitor module is at zero. So as you can see, there's quite a big drop off, especially during partially shaded conditions compared to our modules to the competitor's modules. This is helped due to the bypass diodes of our module, which allows it to perform better during low light and shaded conditions.